Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. Do code, tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description. Support my Patreon if you can. It's only $1. And Python if else we're on too. So we're doing all the Python problems on HackerRank. Here's our task. Given an integer n, perform the following conditional actions. If else basically means you have an if condition. So if we have a variable x, if x is greater than 5, maybe we want to do something. Otherwise, maybe we do something else, right? That would be an example. Given an integer n, perform the following actions. If n is odd, print weird. Okay, so we have n right here. We're in Python 3. If n modulus 2 equals 1, that means it's odd. And in Python, we actually use colons instead of uh, curly braces, in, like in Java. Print weird weird no semicolons either gotta get used to that weird is e before i it's i before e except after c except for weird i am bad with spelling if n is even and in the inclusive range of two to five print not weird else if n is even if n is in the inclusive range of what two to five print not weird if n is greater than or equal to two greater than or equal because inclusive um, and n is less than or equal to 5, then we print not weird, right? Sorry, I have to remember Python uh, syntax. If n is even in the inclusive range of 6 to 20, print weird. So this is an elif in Python, not else if. That's a big difference, too. Is this an inclusive range? Gosh. 6 to 20 print weird. Twenty print. Sorry for taking so long, guys. I haven't done the problem or anything. If n is even and greater than print twenty print not weird. Else uh print else uh elif um n is greater than 20 print not weird we're not going to do else because that would count negatives too right so we just have to make sure it's greater than 20 right so let's run this there we go we congratulations we did it so yeah if else just be worried just be careful with the else's because if i would have put else not weird that would have counted for negatives which might be if there's a negative test case that would be bad like negative two right that would be even right but um you know it's not greater than 20. So there you go. Remainder is basically uh, how many times a number goes into something. So 2 is a great indicator of whether a number is even or not. If n mod 2 is 0, it's even. If it's 1, it's odd. So there you go. That's it. On to the next one. Thanks for watching, and see ya. Did we submit it? Okay, we submitted it now. Sorry about that. Okay, now we'll see you later.